Okay, this is a video um, about a bike packing trip near Calgary, Alberta. Uh, the information in here was passed on to me from somebody uh, that obviously lives in the area that uh, kind of just asked if I would post this on their behalf and uh, looks very, very cool. So uh, I was happy to do so. And what you see here on the screen is a map that they uh, provided me with um, the route basically that they took and it has photos and, and some information in it. So if you, you know, click on a photo and it has the photo and then uh, gives a little bit of information about the about the trip. So I'll share a link to uh, this map so people can explore it. Um, but basically the video will just be, uh, the, you know, a slideshow of the, of the photos. Um, but if you wanted to see exactly where a photo was taken, then you could uh, get into this map and, and take a look around. And so just a little background information as to what this is. Um, this is near Calgary, Alberta. It's between, between Calgary and Drumheller, Alberta. Canada and um, what it is is there's an old train line that uh, ran I mean it goes beyond Drumheller um, up that way but there's a train line between Drumheller and Calgary um, where CN has ripped up the tracks and it appears according to the information I've gotten that that track continues on kind of down through Chestermere this way and the track in this location apparently is still there but uh, they're in the process of ripping it up but this section where you see all the um, pictures and stuff, this, this uh, shown section here, it's already been removed and obviously is bikeable. And after a little bit of research too, um, I looked into, uh, you know, the, this track situation in the Drumheller area. And it would appear that, I don't know the full extent of it, but it would appear that Drumheller has struck a deal with uh, CN to convert the uh, the the old train line into a pathway system, and so you know here's a there's, an, there's if you just Google it you'll get a news article about the development of this trail, but it, it looks to me like they're going to develop it from the uh, west end of Drumheller all the way to Wayne, Alberta, as a pathway system, uh, which is really interesting. And then so th this um, this information here on this map. Uh, the user did bike that section, but they said they did the highway in that section because as of now, that section appeared not to be bikeable. But what's really cool about this is that's a really good start to this, but this whole section in here is bikeable right now. And it's roughly 90 kilometers, I'd say, from Wayne all the way to Lyalta here. Um, and it's got a lot of potential. Like you'll see from the photos that it's uh, quite stunning and it really showcases Alberta's um, prairies, you know, kind of in, in this section here. It's like nice, uh, really nice prairie stuff. And then when you get into around uh, Rocky Fur down in here, it's you're into uh, prairie coolies, which is very cool. And then as you work down the valley, it gets into uh, the Badlands, which, you know, a lot of people are familiar with in the Drumheller area. And so the goal here would be to, um, you know, extend that, that pathway system that's already kind of been, you know, it's already in the work, works and extend it all the way to uh, Chestermere. Because once you get to Chestermere, there's actually a um, pathway network already from Chestermere to Calgary that goes along an irrigation canal. So there's a, an opportunity here to have a, a, a really um, stunning, lengthy, um, old railroad pathway system for, you know, for biking or hiking, walking, um, equestrian maybe. And in my opinion would, uh, from what I've seen here, uh, would rival um, the Kettle Valley Railroad in, in British Columbia. And so if you take the time to uh, watch this video and take a look at some of the photos and explore the map, and you think it has a lot of potential too, then I would say, um, contact maybe the tourism minister of Alberta, contact some bike organizations uh, and, and let's like let people know maybe the towns uh, that are along this, this section and um, let them know that you, you know this is of good in, great interest and it would be fantastic to see this develop but I'll just scan through here and as you'll see you know we start off in the prairies over here and then um, it starts to work down into um, you know, a creek system here. So from Rockyford, it really, right after Rockyford there, it enters into a, a coulee in there and it works its way down. This coulee goes through Redland and Rosebud's actually a, um, quite a touristy town. It's an artistic town where there's a theater and, and galleries and, and things like that. So, um, you know, they could, they could benefit greatly from probably some traffic going through here as well. And there's like, uh, guest houses and stuff like that. 
and that works down the valley here. And as you'll see, as we start to head down the valley here, you can start to see that the badlands start to form. Um, so, you know, from the pictures I see here, it's quite stunning. And anyways, you work your way down into the badlands and get to Wayne. And Wayne's actually kind of a, a touristy area as well for people exploring the badlands. And of course, uh, Drumheller for the dinosaur museum and whatnot. So enjoy, and if you like what you see, uh, spread the word, and let's uh, see if we can make um, get Alberta to have a, a Kettle Valley Railroad rival. I suppose rival is not the right word, but a a, um, a Alberta version of the Kettle Valley Railroad. And you know, this would be a small portion of it, but um, you know, like I said, that track seems to I haven't, I haven't followed it forever, but it seems to extend. A long ways um, but this this would be a really good section because you know a lot of uh, tourism comes from Calgary and there's a lot of tourism around Drumheller so it's a really good section that uh, probably would see a lot of use okay so here we are Whoop. starting a bike tour on a abandoned train line just east of La Alta the tracks are still in place just west of La Alta Alberta and I'll just call this guy Larry coming with me. So we're going to head this way down to Rosedale, I think is our destination, or maybe Drumheller. And we'll do a little bit of filming along the way. And we would like, or I guess our plan is to, we'd love to see this become a real Kettle Valley Railroad like BC has.